Hi and welcome to this video where we're going to talk about how to use Wattpad to find your target reader for your book. Now if you're not familiar with Wattpad, Wattpad is a service where you can sign up for free and upload your books and I think the point of Wattpad from what I've discovered in my past few years of using it is you can just build up a community of readers and writers and you have somewhere to write your books if you're not wanting to publish them or not ready to publish them and you just want some criticism or creative feedback people can comment on your books there and add them to their lists and it's just a way to build up a fan base as well and like I said it's just a really good community. Now I was using Wattpad to write my books on and for all of the reasons that I just listed but now that I am publishing my books I have come up with a few thoughts on Wattpad and how it affects publishers and people self-publishing their books, even people traditionally publishing their books because it can raise some issues but there are also some benefits to Wattpad if you are publishing already. So I just wanted to cover a few of the issues first. So if you're traditionally publishing, a lot of publishers won't take your book if it has already been out there on the internet and people have read it or read a portion of it just because they weren't the first ones to put it out there and if they are to take you on it could be a worry for them that the book was seen unedited as well which would tarnish the name possibly. For indie publishers there's a fear that if you put your book out there before publishing it no one's going to buy it and this is because people who read on Wattpad a lot of the time are younger and they like to read free books and if they can read it for free why would they purchase it. Another thing there are a few exceptions of this such as Anna Todd when she published a few of her books on there that kind of went viral such as After We Collided and she did go on to have that traditionally published and there are some cases where publishing agents were actually scour through Wattpad and find people for publishing but it is quite rare and doesn't happen a lot. Now there are a few reasons why you would use Wattpad and one is to get readers hooked onto your series and hopefully get them to buy the next book. Now some people say that this is a good thing and a good way to go about that but honestly a lot of the time people like to read your book for free on there and won't go on to pay for your book. But I will show you in this screenshot how many views my books have on Wattpad and I used to have the whole books on there and since I've started selling them I actually have taken the books off and then only put a few chapters on there but see how many people have viewed it viewed them and added them to their list whereas how many people have actually bought my books not even half and I can say with almost all certainty that they did not come from Wattpad the ones that did buy my books so that is something to keep in mind although I will say that as a new author this can be a really good way to get your name out there and start to build up a small audience and now the main point of this video is to talk about how to find your target audience. So if we put aside how many books you were selling, you can get a pretty good idea of who is reading your books on Wattpad and who is adding them to their list. If you look in your notifications, you'll actually see people that are adding your books and it will tell you what lists they have made and are adding your books to. It will also show you on your profile how many follows you have and you can kind of, if you want to take the time to do some research, you can click on each of their profiles and kind of get a feel for their age, gender and what kind of other books they're reading which can also help you in the future when you're putting your book up on Amazon or anywhere else to see the categories that your books fit into. There are other ways to figure this out as well but this is just a good starting point to get an idea of who is reading your books and where they belong in the market. Now in saying that you can actually set your book into a certain category when you are setting up your book. You can do this by um, putting different hashtags into 
the back end of Wattpad when you're uploading a book and I believe you do also have the option to set categories as well. Now Wattpad is one of the book hosting places that do have the most categories so there are a lot of different categories and subcategories on Wattpad that you can use, which is really awesome to get your book into a lot of different readers' hands. So just keep that in mind as well when you're setting up your books. But aside from that, you can do the things that I just mentioned before this, like going into the profiles of the people who follow you and add your books to their lists to get an idea of who is reading your books and where they belong or where they have ended up based off the categories you have set. I want to mention that if you wanted to compare Wattpad to anything, there's a few different websites like this, such as LitNet, which is a bit newer, and I have my books on there as well. And you actually have the option on LitNet to get paid, but it is a coin-based system. And that sort of idea reminds me a lot of Kindle Unlimited. So it's like people pay for coins or they pay a subscription and then they read your book for free. On Wattpad, it is free for readers as well, and LitNet, it can be as well, but if they want to buy paid books, they have to buy coins. And in Kindle Unlimited, you pay a monthly fee, and then you get all these books for free. So the same idea, however, goes with Kindle Unlimited as it does with those other sites, because those readers, if they're getting books for free, they're not going to usually follow you outside of those platforms and purchase your books because they like those platforms. That's where they consume their books and they're getting free books. So just keep that in mind. If you do build up a huge audience in Wattpad then, or Kindle Unlimited, it doesn't necessarily mean that you can then take this, this audience with you outside there to another website like Amazon, and I'm not talking about Amazon Kindle Unlimited, I'm just talking about general Amazon store, or Smashwords, or Draft Digital, Barnes & Noble, Apple, Google Play, etc. That is why I do suggest that you use Wattpad as generally a tool to find out who your readers are and a little added bonus of some people may follow you out and purchase your books outside of Wattpad. I actually have done an interview with a Wattpad famous author as well and I will link that video in the cards and down below. She really goes in and talks about how she became Wattpad famous, what books do well on Wattpad and heaps more so go ahead and watch that video if you would like more insight into Wattpad. I will actually be doing a video as well exclusively talking about how to use Wattpad, why to use Wattpad and all of the benefits of that but for now I'm just going to leave this video here so I hope that it gave you a little bit of insight and was somewhat helpful and I will see you in my next video.